Hey, how you doing? Down here, doing a little frugal fishing on this farm pond we've got access to. Let's see if we can put a few fish on the bank for you this afternoon. Pretty nice one. Doing all right out here. A lot of fun. Everybody. Hey. A nice one. All right, so I had to switch up for my blue plastic worm. I figured the water was a little muddy. I switched to something with brighter color, a little more tail action, one of these Gary Yamato grubs. Worked well for me in the past and paying off today on our little frugal fishing trip. I'm gonna go ahead and let this largemouth bass go. Pretty nice one. <laughs> Finally hooked something up. Let's see what I got here on a night crawly. Finally hooked something up. Oh, nice little bluegill. Nice little bluegill. At least I'm not gonna go, go away from the little farm pond here skunk this afternoon. What is this little thing? What is this little thing? Look at this little thing. <laughs> well, they can't all be monsters. <laughs> well, Michael, at least I didn't let you skunk me down there on that little farm pond. Yeah, it came pretty close, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got some nice bass down there. I did, they put some yeah. good ones in there. Yeah, there were some good fish down in there. We had a, a lot of fun. We were actually on a turkey hunt on Maryland's Eastern Shore and got permission to fish in the little farm pond out behind the house we were staying at. Don't overlook farm ponds. They can provide for a very inexpensive and fun afternoon. Usually it's just little fish you catch. Uh, we had some fairly nice ones in the pond we fished in, but there can be some monsters. And this fish on the wall behind us here proves that. We were fishing a small one acre lake and little did the owner of that pond know when he told us we could go ahead and keep one fish for dinner if we wanted, that this largemouth bass of over six pounds would be the fish we decided to keep as our one fish. <laughs> Michael caught him years and years ago. I think you were a teenager yeah. at the time. Yeah. Yeah, on a plastic worm. And to date, that bass, which weighed a little over six pounds, is still the household record for largemouth bass here. <laughs> Um, that camo chair. I got you on catfish though last summer. Yeah, that's gonna change. Okay. Before we go, we'd like to give a shout out to a fan of ours down in Georgia, Chad Burgess. Uh, Chad served with the United States Marine Corps and deployed to Afghanistan. He's with an outfit called American Rack Addicts on Facebook. If you get a chance, look them up. Um, we would like to thank him for his service. Not just Chad, but all his brothers and sisters in the United States Armed Forces, thank you very much for keeping us safe here at home and allowing us to do what we love to do, get out and enjoy the great outdoors. Thank you all very much from Camo Chair Productions, and we hope to see you all again really soon.